back in January, I had already ordered bees for this spring. I'm expanding my beehives. I currently have four wary hives. Two are, have bees in them, two do not. I wanted to also do some Langstroth hives because one of the things I don't like about the wary hives after using them for a couple years now is it's really hard to do bee inspections. And I know everybody's like, oh, they're the most natural beehive and all you got to do is put the bees in there and forget about them, man. That's not the case in Kentucky. So I wanted to go to uh, Langstroth hives, which are much easier to do inspections. And normally I would build my hives myself using my own wood and I just knew I wasn't going to have time. So I ordered these Hoover hives off of Amazon back in January or so thinking I'd get them done before spring got here and I wouldn't be pressed for time and well here it is middle of April and I just got the notification today which is Monday that my bees will be ready for pickup on Saturday. I haven't even started building hives yet. It come literally with the instructions the nails, screws, everything. But I'm going to build them just the way I would if they were mine. I'm just using pre-cut materials. So um, with that being said, I'm going to glue them and use my uh, brad nailer to get them put together. And it's basically just figuring out what goes where, if you want to know the truth. It looks like that all four of these, all four sides of your bottom boxes have handles. So this is, would be the long edge, this would be the short edge, and you can see there's actually handles in all of them. I'm just going to put some glue on them. Doesn't need to be a lot of glue. One down. They have a wood burn logo on them. You sit there. I mean the uh, the hives are actually, you know, the the woods decent. I mean there is an occasional knot, but the knots like that one probably does go all the way through. I looked at some of the other ones. I a lot of them didn't have knots that went all the way through. That one there actually has a knot that goes all the way through. There's a knot that goes all the way through. There's a knot on the edge. Like if I was building these out of my own wood, I might have chose different pieces, but these are fine. I'm actually really surprised the quality of these. You know, I'm if I build something, I'm kind of funny at how it's built. And uh, if I was ever in a pinch where I was strapped for time again, I would have no problems ordering these over again. So that pretty much should give you an idea of the quality right off the bat. So with these I usually just lay them out for the frames because there's a lot of smaller pieces. I usually just lay them out with like, like pieces together. You know, I am not sure why Canon never put like a beep or something when your camera is about to shut off. I don't know how much time I lost. I'm sure it don't matter. But that's annoying to look up while you're recording a video 
and find out your camera shut off with no warning. Now someone told me, and I don't know how accurate this is because I never followed up on it, but somebody told me these Hoover hives were made by the Amish in Pennsylvania. I don't know if it's true or not, but I can tell you they are pretty good quality. And they're at a price that makes it a really good deal, I thought. Now I can build them cheaper, but I didn't have time to build them cheaper. Anyway, so I got it finished up. I happened to look up. It said movie recording had been stopped once again. So when I showed you this earlier, we had our bottom board, our entrance reducer, our broad box, our cover, All, all in this bottom box of your broad box. So now I've got the second broad box put together. It would go on like this. With the frames in it. As the queen produces more and more bees, they'll expand into a second box. Again, with your cover, your telescoping cover goes on next. All right, so the next thing is when they start collecting a lot of honey, you add your honey super on the top, which is this one. Whoops. First, you, act, you have to add your queen excluder. So on top of your brood box, you put your queen excluder. Goes like that. Then your honey super. Then your honey frames. Then your cover. And what this cover does, it gives you your 3 8 B space between your box 
and your telescoping cover. Just like that. So that is pretty much how, can you even see that? There you go. That's the full beehive assembled now. It took me goofing off and everything. Uh, it's 6.53 now and I started about, I started around 5 or 5.15. So about, just say two hours because I use the air nailer and uh, I've done this before. So I'm going to guess so if you've never built a beehive, for you to build this exact same thing, you're probably looking at half a day or the better part of a, a Saturday. So, uh, again, these Hoover hives, I, uh, I'm not getting paid to promote them. I just, I bought them on Amazon. They were available. Had no idea what I was going to get when they come in. I've been, you know, pretty impressed with the quality. They went together easy. Not really any issues. I had one piece that, uh, was miscut and I just basically used a razor knife to fix it went about you know on or about my way and uh, I would have no problems there was a split out right here on the side but that's really on the outside finish side it's not a big deal um, if if I was in a pinch where I needed to have say three beehives by this weekend I'd have no problem going back to Amazon and ordering these um, you know, I, I just simply don't have time to go to the lumber company during coronavirus lockdown, buying all the materials, which is two hours. So it's an hour drive there, an hour drive back for me to get to a Lowe's or a Home Depot. Buy the plywood, bring it home, rip the plywood down to the width that I need, cut it to length, put the, put the uh, pins and tails in it, and fitting it all together i just ain't got time for all that so i just ordered it off amazon and here we are today's monday i pick up the bees saturday i just need to get them set up and aired out this week and pick the bees up saturday so be a video on that i'm sure